Today we're going to show augmentation of a rotator cuff repair using the new cuff mend updated product line. This is a cuff mend patch, one millimeter dermal allograft, in addition to the newer shoulder fiber stitches, which you'll see here. Um, we've placed the double row ready for this rotator cuff repair, and these are the knotless anchors which we pull on either side out of the anterior and posterior portals to get them out of the way. Then through the cannula, we're going to place the one millimeter thick patch. You can see here, this is using the cuff mend device and we have excellent placement over the cuff. Again, we're going to go from a high superior portal. We're going to use the new shoulder fiber stitches. So you can see that they are double loaded. We're going to go in once, fire it in twice, fire it for a double fixation. You can see here, so we're going to tension this down and then we're going to use the secondary stitch to tension as well. And then we're going to cut it. Then we're going to go to the posterior aspect. Again, we're going to fix it on the medial margin. The nice thing about these fiber stitches is because of the acute angle, you're able to get underneath the acromion. You can get quite far medially to attach this patch. And these actually can be used for a two millimeter patch as well. In this case, we had reasonable tissue, so we decided to go with a one millimeter patch. Again, you're going to tension it. You can see we have excellent pullout strength. And then here we want to do a third stitch to tension this down. So we place the third stitch here. And now we're going to work our way towards the lateral row. Again, you do not need to have a separate suture attached to this. We had all simples and then we detached them. And now you can see the patch floating and it's quite easy to fix this down. We're going to pass the knotless passing suture and then we're going to engage this. And this is the anterior stitch. And once we lock this down, you can see that this patch is quite flexible. This dermal allograft has really nice properties that allow you to tension it nicely along the cuff. And you can see here we're not doing any damage to the anchors around that area and we're using the original anchors we have. We're going to retension this and we're going to cut it. You can also keep it and retension it later as well if needed. Now we're going to work posteriorly. We're going to do a simple interrupted suture pass it through, that's the passing stitch, and then we're going to take the two loading stitches. We're going to load this, and you can see us retensioning this knotless swivel lock. And you really are going to get nice compression onto the entire lateral margin of the rotator cuff. And finally, you can see us rotating back and forth, and we're again retensioning one more time and making sure that the cuff patch is placed well over the repair site. And you can see here there is no mobility of this patch. It is nicely compressed down and upon probing is an excellent position. And this will help enhance our healing and reduce re-tear rates. And we've seen good vascularity in these patches. And again, rehab protocol can be the same as a standard rotator cuff repair in this situation. Thank you.